Good evening, guys. Thanks for joining me. It's been a lovely day here in the uh, UK today. Currently down about 58 degrees. It's going to go drop down to about 48 later on, early hours of the morning. Currently about, uh, sorry, half eight in the evening, Saturday night. Still smoking. Had a real good day today. I've had my best mate, Pipe Monkey Gally, come down for a visit. First time we managed to get together in 18 months. Um, as you all know about this fantastic plate from uh, Pat's dad over in Belgium. My stand's come in for it today. I've actually, I've actually had to measure the plate to make sure I've got the right size stand for it. Yeah, wonderful, fantastic plate. And I can't believe people over there are selling these things to make money out of them. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So that's now taking pride and place in my living room next to me uh, cellar. So Gally came, no, Gally came down. We didn't do a video because we'd not seen each other for so long. We wanted to make, keep it a little bit more personal and, and you know, just because we haven't seen each other for a long time is, you know, best buddies like and it's I think you can understand that guys no offense to anybody you know it's um like I said he come down with some belated birthday gifts for me so thank you Gary much appreciated and uh yeah obviously like I said because he's not been able to get down we've been a uh, full-time carer for his father-in-law He stayed not for seven hours. And uh, yeah, we've had a good time. We've had a great great breakfast, thanks to the missus. Some of you might have seen that breakfast on the uh, on the Instagram or Facebook. So <laughs> he's got a bit of a spider on me uh, little um on me uh, winder for me canopy for me table. So I'll sit now for a side for the change, yeah. It's been a it started off a bit murky today. And um it looked as like if it was gonna pour, you know, rain at one stage and then it brightened up nicely. Um I think we're gonna hit sixty degrees. I think it might have hit sixty degrees from you know today at the highest. And it's gonna go down to forty eight early hours of the morning. Well, it's, like, it's gonna have a hover around the mid fifties all week. And I think Thursday, Friday, we got some uh, bad weather coming through again. So I've got a flight today to show you, Gary. Follow me. We've all seen this one. The dragon one, of course. But what I forgot to give, this is the one I got for Gary. I've also got one for another friend, which I've had in for a while, and uh, so that's the eagle version, same colour, and I forgot to give it him when he left, but it did have some tobacco and cigars and usual stuff I give it, you know, looking after me mate. <coughs> I put cigars in a, uh, in a box so he couldn't see how many he gave him. And he sort of sent me a message saying, bloody hell, you know. I said, what did you expect? You should know me better than to, you know, I'm not going to give you two or three or four cigars. You know me better than that. Anyway, hope you enjoy them. Apparently he smoked cigars a long time ago, so I'll give him some, a bit of a variety of cigars. Hope he gets back into it. Um, I've got a few pipes, guys. A few new pipes to me. <coughs> Kindly gifted. By a David Greenow. Now, David Greenow isn't a uh, well, it's not a presenter, but he's a lurker and he's commented a few times on lives and whatever. And uh, I sent David some tobacco. I think it might, well, 
I think I sent some stuff early on in my YouTube. I started uh, three years ago. And um, I sent me a message saying, I've got a couple of pipes for you. Oh, would you be interested? So he told me what they were. I said, I said, what are you after for them? He said, you can have them. I said, pardon? He said, you can have them. He says, I'm not smoking them. He says, I've smoked one about twice. You're the one I've not smoked. Um, he says, you know, you're just sitting there doing nothing, not getting used. So would you would you be interested? And I said, like I said, I said, uh, what do you want for? He said, nothing. I said, he said, you helped, you know, you looked after me when, you know, when I asked, you know, when you first coming out, on, when you first come down on the circuit sort of thing. And so, yeah, I'm talking about three years ago, easy. And um, it, might, it might have been two years, but I'm sure it's definitely, definitely over two years. And it's just one of those guys who just popped up out the blue and message out the blue, you know, even though I sent him some stuff. And um, it's a case of what, in my opinion, it's a case of uh, what goes around comes around. But it's a little bit more than that because he sent me two pipes. These, and they actually come today. So you recognize these bags, guys. LCS pipes. It's, long, it's been a while since I bought an LCS pipe. <coughs> and um, various reasons but what surprised me more about these pipes one's a three star and one's a four star so i got my first four star lcs pipe and i was you know i was gobsmacked and you know when he, when david contacted me he said bloody hell you know of all the people to you could have given to why why me and that's the reason as i said before and i was just blown away and um, these pipes, commissioned pipes, which is bought of Simon, and, um, and the pipe numbers are 829 and 835. So now you know what the numbers are, and you know they are recent pipes. These are pipes commissioned this year, guys, which I couldn't believe. You know, I thought they're going to be a couple of years old at least, you know, I thought, ooh. But I'm going to show you. First, I'll show you a pipe 829. Which is this stack billiard double saddle, double saddle stem cross grain there some bird's eye on this guys I'm gonna give this a bit of a polish it needs a bit of a looks like it needs a bit of a polish it's a bit but uh, this is the one that's been smoked a couple of times look, look you can see on the bit there hardly been touched smoked about two times it's got Simon's um, stamping on it LCS Belias London made three star pipe it did have an adapter in it which I've taken out at the moment so it's a nine star so David's had the uh, adapters when he ordered them when he commissioned them a nice tall stacked billiard yeah, blown away, but I'm absolutely stunned by these pipes. Absolutely, yeah. Just, you know, new. I try to, to receive, a, you know, anything as a gift is, you know, sometimes, you know, just be lost for words. Um, especially these being new pipes. I, I you know, and this is a LCS four star guys, and it's the four star. Very similar, so you got it straight on a uh, a bent version, but you know the grain on that. <laughs> I can see why it's why it's a four four star. You see, look, not touched at all, brand new. You know, show you the grain on that, guys. Again, full of bird's eye, straight grain there, and bird's eye all over it, over the rest of it, and a bit of straight grain, or flame grain, whatever you want to call it, on the bottom. Well, and then I've got Simon's 
stump in there, you can see it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, guys, I can't see it. I, I can't see it, but up to the, the first four star pipe, LCS players. Wow. And I, I don't know why David decided um, they weren't for him or they just wasn't smoking, wasn't getting use out of them, I don't know. I mean, like I said, 835, 829, so they're not that old, are they? You know, I think Simon's come to what? These, uh, you know, some 70 pipes ago, so I don't know how long ago that was, you know, a couple of months maybe. Yeah, so thank you very much, David. Really dumbfounded, you know, shocked at such a kind gift. And I, so I also have had to say, what well, the same, like, you know, what, you know, what do you want, what do you want? There's anything I could do in return, there's no way I could take two pipes off you and not give you something in return <coughs> so he just said um, send me some tobacco I said what do you want he said is anything I'll see you well, what would you like he said can you send me some Ken Byron Burley morning pipe so that would be out first thing Monday morning um, I've got plenty of it in funny enough as you see me videos so I'm going to send him eight ounces so that's a thank you for sending them fantastic, two fantastic pipes. Yeah, well, the generosity in this community, you know, to, for someone to come out of the blue like that, you know, it's just took one. I've still got his address because he's one of the first addresses I've put in my book, in my address book. I just double checked with him um, yesterday, just to make sure he's still living at the same address, which he is. Yeah, and uh, another two LCS pipes in this collection, absolutely smack really, you know, new pipes. You know, not, not, not obviously that one eight 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 three five not even broke in yet, so that's uh, a bit more to few pipes there to break in. Wow. Absolutely dumbfounded, you know. But uh, to be thought of like, you know, for someone to remember me like that, you know, it's um it's a nice feeling, you know. So thank you David, much appreciated. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, so I've not been actually because because cause Gally's been here all day. We've been out in the yard, you know, virtually all day by the odd hour or so. We went indoors, and it when it's so temperature sort of dropped this afternoon, and then we come come back out again. Yeah, so we sat outside on the deck, really enjoying a few bowls, sharing a few bowls, catching up on stuff. Been a great day, and uh, yeah, eighteen months is way too long, and uh, I just. We both hope we can, uh, you know, in future it's not going to be another 18 months before we see each other. But we do contact each other a lot. But again, I've got to show this plate off again, guys. You know. And like, like I said before, if you we see um, Pat's video on this on, as a thank you video, you know, this is like, no, it's like, this is like, hair, I said before, it's like a hair loom to me. Again, that's the three bands he's used to make it up. And again, Pat, he didn't have to, but again, he asked you to see him in the video. He's going to send me another gift, and he's told me not to send him anything back, you know, due to customs and other regular issues. I'm probably getting stuff through there. So I will, uh, I'll stick to his request. Like I said, um, I said, and he got, I said, I would have seen in, uh, in, um, uh, in his thank you video, which didn't have to do really, you know. I sent him a little something in return for this plate, you know, which I think was, you know, had to be done basically. You know, you can't accept something like that and not give something in return. It's just, just an amazing bit of work. <coughs> and I'm, like I said before, I'm honoured and I'm privileged to receive one. And uh, I just want to reiterate that I didn't ask for it. I didn't say, can I have one? You know, I said, can I commission one? You know, that's the important word here. I said, can I commission one? And uh, like I said before, I said, no, we'll be willing to make you one. So I just want to clear that up, guys. You know, just like I said before, I never ask for anything for free. I don't expect anything for free. And um, I certainly didn't expect be gifted this plate, absolutely wonderful plate. Like I say again, mighty piece of community, nothing like it. 
I don't think we're going to see anything like it again. Well, not in my lifetime, anyway. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So I was not seeing any videos today, guys. I haven't seen, uh, I forgot Simon's live last Saturday. Because we've just been trying to get this deck organised and get, you know, stuff done in the house as well as outside and, you know. I just completely <laughs> forgot about Simon's live last Saturday. So, hopefully tonight I'll be on it and then uh, misses in work again. So, it's not going to be much kit for me by the time Simon's live's finished. Yeah. Uh, caught a lot of Simon's videos the other day, but he's enjoying one of them Inca cigars. Bit, a bit, a bit, uh, the ring gauge is a bit big for his liking, as we know, he likes his robust all sizes. The 60 gauge is a bit, a um, bit too much for him. But, he liked it, he enjoyed it. I think it was one of two the cigars I have sent to me, he wasn't too keen on, but, you know, you're going to get them, you're not going to... Get out send someone cigars out and expect them to like every one. You know, like I said, it's like giving tobacco. We've all got different tastes. Like the uh, the Michelin over the um, Novelli Peru. Um, the small stubby one, the four and a half inch one, where it was four inch one. He wasn't so keen on that, even though that's one of my favourite cigars at the moment. I'm, I'm enjoying the tattoo cigars at the moment. Uh, tattoo Ati tattoos. I mean, I was watching Martin Matchbox with that, uh, that cheap cigar he got on holiday or whatever it was. I think he went to a, like you said, they said in the, in the, in the video, made a mistake and buying a cheap one. And it tasted cheap. <laughs> <coughs> but funny enough, them uh, <coughs> them cigarellos I got in yesterday. I sent Gary home with a load of them because I got different. I think I got five different flavors. You know the flavored cigarellos. I couldn't taste the cherry or the apple in the one I tried yesterday. I said did a couple of minutes, you know, five minutes smoke at the most. You know, great, you handy for work. You know, if you're on a quick, quick fag and work, you know, on a quick smoke. Home. Machine made things, but you know, they uh, they were filtered. Sweet, they had sweet tip on them, you know, sweet tips, cigarellos. But I wasn't getting the flavours through. I might, I don't know if I get out the flavours through on the others, I'll try the others, see what they like. Actually, got watermelon, can you believe that? Watermelon flavoured cigar. I don't know what I was ordered, I didn't realise I ordered it. I thought I took them off when I saw them because I, I wanted the I wanted the coconut and um, pineapple. Yeah. I think it just stick to the Toscanos, I think. I want to thank you guys who've also made comments on the videos about me uh, still trying to find a decent cherry blend. I know a few uh, have put in uh, cult, blood moon, cult Blood Red Moon. Sorry guys, it just doesn't do anything for me, that one. It just hasn't got the punch. You mean, I've, I've tried Paladin. I've tried um, Cherry and Vanilla from um, Gareth Hogarth. I think I've had Cherry Cobbler, I think, from um, Fireworks, is it? And nothing's really hitting the uh, hitting it for me at the moment. You're not giving me that, I'm not getting that cherry flavour that I want. I might just stick with the blends I've got at the moment, I think, rather than searching out for this cherry blend and I might just knock it on the head and leave it, you know. I've got plenty of. Couple of uh, me burlies. 
do like me burlies. Can't buy them burly, can't beat it. I've been I was on I was on there today trying to get the coffee one, coffee version. Again. So the trouble we can buy them can buy them ventures with their blends, it's gotta be you've got to get in early once they've got them in stock because they don't last long. I know they got um, a few new blends they've tried. Uh, there's, a new, there's a new one called Murcroft. I don't know how that will sit with um, Moss City cigars. Moss City cigars. It wasn't the Country Squire, was it? Who made one called Murcroft, or was it? Or something that sounded somewhat similar. Mirkwood, sorry. I think they got one called Mirkwood, and it's Ken Byron Ventures I'm on about now. I think they got one called Mirkwood, but it's spelled, they're spelling it different. Must be lighter. I was very disappointed. I've got an order, which I've had a good few weeks now, which is a... Uh, Supply with something I wanted to spice galley with, and it's not come in, so I'm not happy about it. So I'm gonna start chasing it up. I wanted it to be here for when he come down like today, would have been a real nice big surprise for him. Summit's wanted, uh, I know he's wanted for a, a while, so I decided to order one. It must be what four or five weeks now. Well, I'm going to start chasing that up, finding out what's going on. And, uh, Uncle Willie, Black Monkey Daddy, like 1792. Not had before, apparently. Surprise me. Well, I'll give him some to take home. But <laughs> he left it on the table. <laughs> yeah. Is it that much of a rush to get out of here? He left it on the table. No, not really. He didn't realise I'd give it him. He thought I'd just give him i will just give him the jar just to uh, to try a bowl. But I had one of the big jars. <coughs> Sorry, one of them big jars. So I'll give that to Gary. And I'll have to go and do some, uh, send some stuff out. I've got a busy day, Monday, sent postage and uh, posting stuff out. So I've got the uh, the Ken Biden Burley Mining Pipe going to David. I've got I've got some uh, Axon X mix going out to somebody. I've got some uh, vapors going out to another guy, and then I've got a little couple of things I've got to send back to Gally. I've been being here all day today. Ah <laughs> yeah, well. Been watching, um, enjoying Dave's videos with his dogs. Excuse me, hiccups. <laughs> uh, watching Dave's videos with his uh, with the dogs with the pups and all that, and then he's been putting a few little snippets on <coughs> Facebook and their likes. Can catch up on his. I've got to catch up on his one he's done from yesterday yet. Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, very mild evening. It's nice to get outside, sit outside for the change, you know. 
enjoying the, the warmer weather even though it's not officially summer yet over here it's not officially summer over here the actual uh, summer equinox or whatever they call it actually starts 21st of June <coughs> it was still in spring and it goes on till 24th of September I believe I don't, think, I don't think it's actually exact four months. Don't know why. Unk. Uncle Willie. Don't know why I'm liking this, but I am. I don't know if you can compare it with um, salty dogs or anything like that, or whatever. So, on the likes of that, it's that sort of, to me, it's that sort of rich. I won't say it was that. What's the matter now, Gary? I'll figure that in a minute. <laughs> Just sent me a, a message again. Um, it's, that, it's that rich, spicy, would be that be like word there, uh, Uncle Willie. I'm not a huge fan of spice, but uh, I don't know what it is, but I'm enjoying it. Definitely going to have to get some more in. So I think I smoked more of this this week, or the, the last uh, week and a bit, nine, ten days, whatever it is, than they have on my X1X mix, which is virtually took over my London Fog mix. So I think I've had about one bowl of London Fog in about three weeks. Right guys, I was going to finish this pipe off and make myself a hot beverage. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit close. <laughs> nearly, bird nearly flew into the um, canopy I've got on the uh, on the table here. I've got one of them wind up canopies, you know, winds out. I need to relight that, guys. Yeah, so I hope you all enjoy your weekend, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I forgot something. I just want to uh, send my prayers and my love to the guys. Oh, sorry, the guys, the people over in uh, Maryland, the town up near where Dave, Piper Day, twenty twenty-three. Last night was hit with tornadoes. A few people lost their lives. Um, buildings destroyed, stuff like that, homes destroyed. So I'm just going to offer my prayers and my love to the people in that town. Very sad state of affairs. Um, absolutely devastating, really. <coughs> I think Dave said it's about an hour from where he lives, <coughs> but it's still part of Maryland. And uh, yeah, so prayers and thoughts are going to the people over there for what's going on over there at the moment. I hope the uh, they can recover as and, uh, soon as possible and obviously they're given the funds to rebuild as soon as possible and yeah sad news to finish on unfortunately guys but anyway i'm gonna wish you all well keep safe keep well enjoy your smokes enjoy your rest of your weekend and let's see if uh your smart my smarty bob clicker will work so once to reactivate Okay, try should turn it off. <laughs>